G'day guys, well today we're doing a review on the barbecue arm. Now Kylie from Barbecue Arm has sent this to us and asked us to do an honest review. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Now, just a little bit about Barbecue Arm is they're actually a local Gold Coast company. Um, and if you've been following our channel for some time, we love to support Australian businesses. Cool. So let's actually take a look at what you actually get in the box. So, straight up, this is the uh, the barbecue arm itself. Now they're available in three different sizes. Uh, this one is the 850 millimeter one, which I think is the, the pretty well the standard sort of size. There is a smaller one at 650 mil, and there's also a larger one at one meter. Now it comes in a black powder coated steel, and it has this nice uh, laser etched logo in here, which I think is absolutely fantastic. Uh, there's the wing nut to attach to the uh, for the table. Uh, and this is the part that slides into the universal drawbar mount. So that's the arm. <clears throat> this is the uh, the universal drawbar mount uh, that comes with this kit. Uh, it's nicely uh, black powder coated. Now it can fit, um, this is your standard sort of 50 millimeter drawbar, uh, and then you just tighten the bolts up. So there is also a uh, 75 millimeter wide version available if you've got that wider drawbar. Now, if we move the rest of this packaging out the way and get to the good bit. So this is the, uh, the actual tray itself. Now these are available in two sizes. So this is the regular or the large. Now the regular will accommodate your baby Qs and your Weber uh, Q2000s, uh, and your large ones uh, take the, uh, the Ziggies uh, and also your Weber family Qs. So you're probably wondering about weight. So in total, uh, depending on your arm size and also your tray size, it'll weigh somewhere between about seven and a half to nine kilos, which really isn't that heavy. All right, so when it comes to installing the barbecue arm, it is super simple and easy. So simply just take your uh, universal drawbar mount, and what you want to do first is back these bolts off um, so they're nice and flush, and then slide it onto your, uh, your drawbar. Uh, nip them up by hand, and then what you want to do is then get a 19 millimeter socket or spanner, and then, then tighten them up. So the beauty about this system is, is that you can actually leave this universal drawbar uh, installed all the time, or you can remove it on and off when you need to. So we've finished tightening these up, like so. And then from there, back this, uh, this bolt off here, or this handle, and then what we want to do is then grab our, um, our arm. Now we slide our arm in. Now the good thing is, is that you can actually height adjust this arm nice and low, or nice and high, just depending on how tall you are, because we're nice and tall. We'll, uh, we'll stick it up nice and high. And then we just tighten that up. And then from there, we just position it where you want to actually sit the arm. And then once you're happy with the position, nip that up. And then from there, what we're gonna do is take the tray. And on this side, if you just come around here, sir, there's a little wing nut. And just there is a little wing nut. And what we do is we just stick that tray in there, like so. And then we just tighten that up. And then once that's tightened, that's not going anywhere. Then from there, we just grab our barbecue, slide it on, and then job done. So when it comes to accessories, there's no shortage of them. Um, we've got the premium accessories pack, which is about 65 bucks, and I think it's pretty good quality. Um, you get a uh, key ring bottle opener, a utensil holder, a tea towel holder, and a tea towel with nice barbecue arm uh, print on it. And then you've got like a, uh, a cup holder or a uh, you know utensil holder or whatever you want to use it for. Now there are a heap of other different accessories. You can get like a tow hitch receiver. Um, you can get tray bags for the actual tray. Uh, heaps of different uh, options. Uh, but yeah, check out their website for more info. All right, so when it comes to installing the utensil hook, uh, on the tray there's actually four holes that they've drilled. Um, so you can put this uh, anywhere you want. So we're just gonna put it here at the front and just simply take a screwdriver, put this little bolt on the back, and just tighten it up. So tighten it all up. And then if you don't want it there, um, you can just move it or don't have to have it on there at all. All right, so on to build quality. Look, I'm overall, I'm really impressed with the build quality. Look, the welds on it are really clean. Uh, the quality of the powder coating is, I think is second to none. They've even think of like the small things like rounding the corners here. Um, look, gaps on the side here. So, you know, if you're getting the water build up overnight, it's gonna drip down. It's not gonna pull them on the tray at all. So I think they've really thought of everything. And look, yeah, as I said, super impressed.
Now this arm itself is designed to take about 30 kilos, so it's definitely durable and can definitely take some weight. Uh, more than ample to, uh, to cater for uh, the, the barbecue. Now the actual uh, quality of the material in terms of the, uh, the steel and the aluminium is all Australian made um, quality, um, so you're not, not getting any of that Chinese stuff. All right, big shout out to Kylie from Barbecue Arm uh, for sending us the Barbecue Arm for review. It's definitely a worthwhile addition to anyone's camp setup. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, uh, drop them down below, and I'll also leave in the link in the description um, where you can get your own barbecue arm. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, get out there, get camping. Talk to you soon. Yeah.